Many moons ago, a biology teacher was heard to exclaim that we were just a bag of chemicals. Was she correct? Meet nitric oxide, also known as nitrogen monoxide. It is a formidable toxic air pollutant produced by automobile engines and power plants. It is an extremely important intermediate in the chemical industry. It has a chemical formula NO, made up of one nitrogen and one oxygen. It has a molecular mass of 30.0061. Due to the fact that nitrogen requires an extra three electrons, and oxygen only requires two electrons to have a full outer shell, the relationship of nitrogen oxide is highly unstable therefore highly reactive. It is a free radical, an atom with an odd number of electrons in the outer shell. Inhalation of nitric oxide can cause abdominal pain, coughing, headache, drowsiness, convulsions and unconsciousness. Due to its toxicity, scientists were amazed to find nitric oxide being produced by the body. Nitric oxide went from extraneous toxin to a ubiquitous elixir. Despite being a poisonous air pollutant, everyone requires nitric oxide to carry out key physiological processes within the body. No wonder it won Molecule of the Year in 1992. Nitric oxide is the first gas discovered to act as a signaling molecule, a transmitter of important signals to cells in various systems of the human body. As it is a very small molecule, it is easily able to diffuse through cell membrane. Its unstable state gives it the opportunity to react highly with many other chemicals. Nitric oxide is a powerful vasodilator, meaning that it helps blood vessels to remain open and blood to flow more efficiently and smoothly throughout the body. It also maintains and restores blood vessels and has been shown to reduce dangerous plaque or fatty substances build up in the arteries. In this animation, we see certain drugs with vasoactive properties being released into the blood. These substances interact with specific receptors at the endothelial layer of the vessel to elevate the calcium concentration inside the cells. This activates an enzyme that makes nitric oxide. In myocytes, muscle cells, nitric oxide stimulates another enzyme, soluble guanylyl cyclase. Guanylyl cyclase synthesizes cyclic GMP which is able to activate protein kinase G. This enzyme mediates vasodilation, that is, the increase in the diameter of the blood vessel, decrease in blood pressure and increased blood flow. Nitric oxide contributes to vessel homeostasis by inhibiting vascular smooth muscle contraction and growth, platelet aggregation and leukocyte adhesion to the endothelium. In humans, a high salt intake was demonstrated to attenuate nitric oxide production. Nitroglycerine, whose effectiveness in treating heart problems, works by releasing nitric oxide. Also has a variety of other important biological functions, including destroying bacteria within the immune system and acting as a neurotransmitter. The production of nitric oxide is elevated in populations living at high altitudes, which helps these people avoid hypoxia. Nitroglycerine and amyl nitrate serve as vasodilators because they are converted to nitric oxide in the body. Nitric oxide is also generated by macrophages and neutrophils as part of the human immune response. Nitric oxide is toxic to bacteria and other human pathogens. In response, however, many bacterial pathogens have evolved mechanisms for nitric oxide resistance. Nitric oxide supplements in existence to help increase blood flow. 
So, was the biology teacher correct? We were just a bag of chemicals, but now we are a structured chemical factory. Not only that, we are now able to think, to have emotions, to study, to play, to learn, to solve problems. Due to the help of these chemicals, we are not just a bag of chemicals, said the biology teacher. The chemical nitric oxide has proved to us that although it is a very simple molecule, it is able to do a lot and is vital to our body. Yep, we were just a bag of chemicals, just floating around. But now these chemicals have come together to make the living things we are now. By simply understanding biochemistry and the reactions as well as behaviour of the chemicals that make up our cells, are we able to explain all the processes in the body? We may be able to justify some answers, but there will always be more questions. We are still many moons from understanding our amazing self, but as each moon passes, we are a little step closer to understanding all these wonders in our body and everything that exists in this complex world. In 2009. Question. Are we just a bag of chemicals? Answer. No, we are not just a bag of chemicals.